The completion of a sales or customer order is a two-part process in terms of goods to be delivered. And we have seen the first part of this process being the picking and assembly of the order for delivery. The second part of the process is the dispatch and invoice. So from the picking summary, we know that an order is available for delivery and we can dispatch and invoice that order. At this point, we have the ability to change some details, including the delivery date, which will of course affect the invoice and the VAT tax point. We can change the quantity to be delivered and the price. And where the quantity to be delivered is not the order quantity, we can create a back order for the shortfall. For example, in this instance, there's going to be a shortfall of 10 pieces. We'll create a back order for that 10. Then we can dispatch and invoice. And we can either send the invoice to the customer in the conventional way by printing, or we can email. Whether we print or email the invoice, the delivery note will always be printed. We can see in this instance that this is an EU customer. We have their VAT number, and the system has recognized this and not charged them VAT. If we send this invoice, we can see that the system has produced a printed invoice and a delivery note in two parts, the customer copy and the supplier copy. The supplier copy has the facility to be endorsed by the customer as goods received. If we now have a look at the order from which this invoice was created, and we edit that order, we can see that the first line of the order for 200 parts has been greyed out. That's no longer available for us to edit as it's been dispatched. The system has created the back order for the 10 to be delivered at a later date. The due date remains the same for the original quantity. If we look at the stock items, we'll note that the stainless steel frying pan has a quantity of 660 and has been downdated by the delivery we've just invoiced. If we click on the activity report, we can see the 190 being delivered here. Invoices for non-goods items, i.e. services, clearly do not require picking. There's no physical stock to be moved. And after order creation, we can go directly to dispatch and invoice. We have the same options to alter quantity and price but we can dispatch and invoice directly from there. And there we have our invoice, which we can process normally. Both of those invoices now appear on our sales invoices listing screen.